Hi guys and welcome back to another video and welcome to my bathroom. As you can see by the title, today I'll be sharing with you my oral hygiene routine or my dental routine. So without any further delay, let's get started. So my oral hygiene routine is pretty simple. I floss, brush, and <laughs> that is it. So I usually start with flossing first and I either use traditional floss or floss because. So right now I have these two. So I have the mint waxed floss. I also have a finer floss, one that's a bit thinner. And if I don't use these, I use my floss picker. This is what it looks like without the attachment on the head. So this is the attachment that goes on the floss picker or floss holder. And I'll simply just, hope you guys can see. Okay, all right, there we go. So this is what it looks like. And this is really easy to maneuver around the farther or further tooth surfaces. All right, so basically I just floss. So you want to make sure when you're flossing that you get both tooth surfaces. So when you go up, you go here, and then you go here. That is so weird. When I've done a few surfaces, I like to just give it a good rinse off. Just for content, I'll just go ahead and floss my mandibular teeth or my lower row of teeth with regular floss. So what you want to do is to get one as long as maybe your shoulder's length, a good length. And you want to wrap your finger around one end, like a good amount, and the other end just a little bit. Then you go ahead and as you go along, you want to wrap more on this finger and release with this finger. So you're changing the piece of floss that you're using basically, you're using a new part. And when you're finished, just discard and do the same. I don't reuse these, so I just take it off and discard. And I like to give my mouth a good rinse out after I floss. So flossing is very important. <laughs> if you guys have watched any of my dental videos before, the floss basically goes where your toothbrush cannot go. So if you're brushing alone, you're not effectively cleaning your teeth or getting rid of all the bacteria that's in your teeth. So you want to make sure you brush, you want to make sure you floss at least once per day. So time for the fun part, brushing. So just a little tip or fact, you should always cover your toothbrushes, especially if you keep them in the bathroom because a lot of bacteria, if you leave it open like this, it can allow a lot of bacteria to get on your toothbrush and horrible and then you put that in your mouth and no, that's just gross. So especially if it's close to the toilet, if you leave the toilet up when you flush it, then there's there's this aerosol with urine and feces that goes up into the air. And if your toothbrush is close enough, which it usually is, it's going to go on your toothbrush. So keep it in a toothbrush cover or just store it outside of your bathroom just to be safe. So currently I'm using a manual toothbrush, nothing fancy. It's one from Colgate. It's not sponsored, but yeah. Um, I do prefer electric toothbrushes, but my dilemma is I live in Jamaica, so I would go ahead and purchase my electric toothbrushes online or purchase them when I fly out and, you know, I'm not able to get the replacement heads down here, so I have to go out of my way and order them online and it's just too much. So a lot of times I'll just stick to a manual just because it's easier to get out here in Jamaica and then the toothbrushes that the electric toothbrushes that they have down here I'm not paying that much money for a toothbrush 
sorry. <laughs> so I'll just wait until I'll order more online or I'll go to the States or whatever and get more. So again, um, this is a medium toothbrush. It is recommended that you use a small, but I prefer a medium because I think it cleans my tongue better. I feel like the soft toothbrush just it doesn't feel like it's cleaning my tongue. But, but you have to be careful when using any type of toothbrush, especially a hard or a medium, because you can cause toothbrush abrasion, which is basically just rubbing away the outer layer of your teeth surfaces. And also you can cause your gums to recede, like your hairline. <laughs> I feel like I've said this so many times. But you want to be very careful with your technique and the type of brush. We say no to hard brushes. Maybe for medium brushes if you know what you're doing and for the average person a soft toothbrush Again toothpaste Colgate again, um, any toothpaste is good. I usually use the Colgate optic white, but I am out right now, but any Toothpaste with the active ingredient of fluoride is perfect. You don't have to go and spend millions on a toothpaste so you want to use just a little bit. You don't need to line your whole toothbrush with toothpaste. You don't need that much. So this is typically how much I use. And you want to brush your teeth for at least two minutes. So I'm going to go ahead with small circular motions with my toothbrush at about a 45 degree angle. Small circular motions on all surfaces, we're gonna make sure we get all two surfaces. You know, <laughs> I forgot to do something. I usually wet my toothbrush before I start brushing. I'm not a maniac, guys. I know I thought something fell off, but you know, I got distracted with you guys being here. But no worries, wet a toothbrush if you want to. I know most people do. So I've finished brushing my teeth, um, it's not as pretty and as um, refined as those brushing teeth scenes in movies, you know, when they're like, and then they go. But after I brush my teeth, I will go ahead and brush my tongue. I feel like it's going to be very weird, but you know, just, I usually just brush away, like from the back to the front until I feel like it's clean, until I see no white, until I see all pink. You get the point. And it's really important that when you're brushing your tongue, you get to the very back, no matter how uncomfortable it may be, because the back of the tongue is where the bacteria will really harbor. You will have a big party on the back of your tongue. You have to make sure you get all of that off to prevent bad breath, because Mm. After I've finished with my tongue, I like to just brush the insides of my cheek and the roof of my mouth. And you want to make sure that you wash out your toothbrush thoroughly, get out all the bacteria, all the toothpaste, everything. After you finish, you can dry it and put it back into your case. Now I like to give my mouth like two good rinses, like two real powerful rinses to get everything out. Alright, so that is usually it for my routine, but, 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 as I said, I usually use the Colgate Optic White Toothpaste, which kind of keeps my teeth on the whiter side um, on a regular basis, but since I'm out, I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit of baking soda and peroxide which works just as good. If you haven't already, <laughs> go and check out my whitening video. So I did a video talking about the different at-home methods, affordable methods that you can use to whiten your teeth. You know, I'm someone who loves curry <laughs> so I have to keep up because curry stains a lot. Here I have just, I don't want to turn it over, just, just and I did, I, I turned it over. <laughs> so I have peroxide, maybe like a T3 
teaspoon of peroxide with uh, two teaspoons of baking soda. And I'm just gonna go ahead, you can use your fingers, you know, whatever you want to do. I'm just gonna use my toothbrush, because why not? And I'm just gonna dip it in, like so. This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to thoroughly coat my teeth with this. Usually, um, let this stay on my teeth for like two to three minutes and I make sure not to swallow. So yeah, I'll check you back after two to three minutes. So again, we're back and I'm just gonna go ahead and give my mouth a good rinse out to get all the baking soda off of my teeth because as you know, if you watch that teeth whitening video, which you should go and watch, <laughs> um, if you leave baking soda on your teeth too long, it can actually break down the enamel of your teeth and you don't want that. You want to make sure you get a good rings out and get everything out. So that's what I do for my routine. As I said, I brush at least twice per day, sometimes more to be honest, and I also floss usually once per day which is right before bed I don't usually floss in the mornings and if I'm not using my whitening toothpaste then I'll try to use the baking soda and peroxide maybe two to three times per week so before you go leave a comment below and tell me if you do anything differently or what your routine is like and if you learned something from today's video remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because we are on a journey to 1,000 subscribers and we're almost there. Thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you next Saturday. Bye. See how quickly we can get to what's a little bit. You want to make sure you... I can't have it like you were in two places I'm almost saying. <laughs> You know when in the movies when them um brush them teeth, it's like them come so spit out and nothing reach from them outside and like you know see nothing like this going on. And them never brush them tongue yet in the movies. You ever notice? The whole I'm out usually. I don't know where we I'm going to brush your teeth after the work on the job. I'm going to brush your teeth after the work on the job.